Hi, we are the three top executives for Coca-Cola. Today, Alexandra is going to be talking about unionization, and Alexandra is going to be talking about employment testing. Today, I shall be talking about employment assistance programs, and further on in our next, in the next part of our presentation, we shall be talking about the other sections. The concepts of employment assistance programs originated in the 1970s in an effort to reduce substance abuse and intoxication in the workplace. Since the EAPs have evolved to deal with a variety of issues such as marital problems, depression, anger management, anxiety, and physical illness, EAP is a work-based intervention program designed to identify and assist employees in resolving personal problems that may be adversely affecting the employee's performance. Coca-Cola's reward system is tied to its EAPs. It encompasses everything that an employee would need. Employees, spouses, and dependents are eligible for health and wellness benefits coverages from the date of hire. All services and benefits are 100% free and paid by the company. The list includes health, vision care, dental, accidental death and dismemberment, group life insurance, dependent life insurance, health care accounts, dependent care accounts, vacation purchase programs, business travel accident insurance, short and long-term disability. Coca-Cola also provides 401ks and retirement programs. When employees threaten to unionize, it is important to, um, to keep an open dialogue between executives and employees. One of the main reasons behind unionization is because employees feel as though their voices are unheard. A strategy to thwart unionization, unionizing employees includes sending voluntary employee satisfaction surveys to gain a sense of what percentage of employees are dissatisfied with the company. Additionally, it is important to ensure that employees are being paid fairly. Unfair payment among toward employees gives a sense of disregard toward employees. Coca-Cola has a negative stance toward unions. They host anti-union meetings through, by their employees to gain a, to gain a sense of anti-unionization. Coca-Cola also distributes facts about unionization, however, their facts are biased. Ultimately, Coca-Cola decides to leave the decision up to their employees. Coca-Cola also feels that the that unions provide a financial burden to the company. And in a company as large as Coca-Cola, the cost of manufacturing a labor union or of maintaining a labor union can be quite exp expensive considering the amount of employees. Production in certain bottling factories has halted because of such labor strikes. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm here to talk about employment testing. So, employment testing is used to predict behavior of potential employees. It's a written, oral, or other form of exam that is administered. The effectiveness and fairness has come into question. This should not be the only form of making a decision. Um, qualified administrators have to give the exam, and it must be designed in a non-biased way so everyone has a fair chance of succeeding when taking the exam. If they are done correctly, they are perfectly legal, but the accuracy is still being studied in question today. You have to account for a lot, because personality does not necessarily reflect on physical skill. Here at Coca-Cola, we are strong supporters of employment testing. We have different tests designed for each specific job. We use consulting agencies such as AO and Hewitt, which will give us fair, non-biased results. For if you're going to be a maintenance job, you have to take a mechanical aptitude test to see if you learn how to know to operate machinery. Also, if you're a customer care person, then you have to take the SJT, which is a psychological assessment to see if you're fit for the job. We use all of this along with interviews, which have specific questions made for each job, role play situations to see how you would actually fit in in a real life situation, as well as medical assessments with drug tests, a background check, and with all this we will give you verbal uh, feedback to make sure that everything's fair and you understand what you did correctly and poorly. Thank you for your time, and we will now further elaborate in our PowerPoint presentation as a scene.